boys and girls, are you ready to see and learn about some more sea animals that begin with some of the letters of the alphabet? Boys and girls, have you ever seen this little salt water fish before? And maybe you or your parents have already eaten it. Anchovies! And here is a school of anchovies and a close-up view. Look at all those fish. Anchovies! Ah, oh, look at this cutie. He's on his back. You think he can make it over, boys and girls? Come on, come on, come on. Oh, there he went. The tail isn't used for steam, boys and girls. It's used to help the horseshoe crab ride itself after getting stuck on his back. Isn't he cute? See him? Can you see his little eye right there? He's looking at you. Boys and girls, the water is blue, but guess what? So is the horseshoe crab's blood. This little guy has blue blood. Here's another cutie, a porcupine pufferfish. Look at his blue, blue eyes, boys and girls. A porcupine puffer is sometimes called a balloon fish when it fills its body with water when frightened. This causes its body to look huge and the spines stick out to scare off a predator. This is a baby stingray in an aquarium. Hey, I know you. You look familiar. Yeah, I've seen you before. That's right. He's getting exercise, boys and girls, going up and down. Up and down. That movement is great for his body. In the ocean, there are all kinds of different types of stingrays. So I'm going to show you a few of the different types. Is a starfish called a bat star because it gets its name from the webbing between its arms which resemble a bat's wing. Starfish are star shaped. The starfish has a central disc and usually has five arms. They come in many different colors like red, orange, pink, brown, gray, and more. Boys and girls, look at this starfish. It looks like it's sitting up, like sitting in a chair. And did you know, boys and girls, a starfish has an eye at the end of each one of its arms. You boys and girls know this fish, the clownfish. The clownfish got its name because it's a very active and aggressive fish. So, they look like they're always clowning around. Clownfish defend their territory, which is the sea anemone that they live in. The clownfish help the sea anemone by eating leftover fish and algae on the anemone. Here is a black clownfish. And here is a brown clownfish. A moray eel has a long, slender body. The eel ranges from 6 inches, boys and girls, to 15 feet. That is long. Moray eels have strong jaws to 
capture and eat meat. And on the other hand, sharks and barracudas eat moray eels. Boys and girls, look at this eel's face. What animal has a face similar to this eel? Did you say a monkey? Yes, this is a monkey eel. How many of you boys and girls like seals? Here on the beach are huge elephant seals. Elephant seals spend 80% of their lives in the ocean. They can hold their breath for more than 100 minutes. Do you know how long that is, boys and girls? That's like an hour and a half holding their breath without breathing. Sand throwing or flipping helps the elephant seal keep cool on land. It's like sunscreen. A feather duster worm has a fan-shaped crown. It uses its crown to filter out small floating organisms which are directed toward its mouth. The mouth is located in the center of the crown. When food gets in, then the feather duster worm closes its crown. Watch this demonstration, boys and girls. I'm going to place my finger in the feather duster, and that will make it close its mouth. That's how it catches its food. Inside the shell, boys and girls, is a hermit crab. It has a vulnerable abdomen, which needs to be protected from predators, so it finds an empty shell to live in. As it grows larger, boys and girls, it needs to find a larger shell or home. Here you see a bunch of hermit crabs in the same kinds of shells. Crystal jellies are brightly luminescent jellies. They have a protein that gives off light. Boys and girls, can you see the glowing points around its umbrella shape? Lionfish are skilled hunters. It blows jets of water at its prey. Then, the lionfish swallows its prey in a single motion. Penguins are social birds that do not fly. They look like they're wearing a tuxedo but the tuxedo look helps camouflage them in the water. Each penguin has a distinct call so as to find its mate and their chicks in a large group of penguins. Here you see a young penguin, boys and girls, who just came out of the water. Penguins are good swimmers. 
They do all their hunting in the water. Boys and girls, let's see if you are good at looking for a fish. First, you want to look for some large eyes. Do you see the eyes? It's a stonefish! Stonefish are masters of camouflage. It blends in and sits perfectly still like a rock. The stonefish can live up to be 100 years old. A giant river otter is the longest member of the weasel family, boys and girls. The giant river otter can grow to be six feet long. Giant river otters are social animals. They love to play, especially these two. And also, boys and girls, these animals are on the endangered list. A live sand dollar is a tiny, dark, purple, flattened animal, boys and girls. A sand dollar uses its fuzzy spines to get food particles under its body to its mouth. That's how it eats. In the sea, boys and girls, you can see all kinds of coral. So I'd like to share some different types of coral with you. Look at this amazing lime green one. Boy, there are all kinds of coral. Boys and girls, there are more than 465 species of sharks living in the sea. Did you know that this little shark is a harmless shark? But then there are those real dangerous sharks, boys and girls, like these sharks. Ooh, scary. have been on Earth for more than one million years, even surviving the dinosaurs when they became extinct. Boys and girls, join me in the sea, singing the ABC song. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my A, B, C's. Next time won't you sing with me? Great job, boys and girls! Guess what? You are smarter!